Hi, and welcome to this lesson on piping measurements and fitting allowance calculations. We're going to start today's lesson imagining a tank at the lower corner of the drawing. We have an obstacle above it, and the objective is to create a piping system that would allow us to start at this position and pipe up to this location. So naturally we're going to use some pipe and fittings to create an offset approximately this location. So the objective would be to install a piece of pipe and a fitting that might look like this. And the first thing we need to do is take a measurement. So we take a measurement and cut a piece that allows us to install a 90 degree fitting, brings us up to about this location. What we'd like to work on for today's lesson is how to take a center to center measurement Subtract for the fitting allowance to accurately cut the end-to-end -end piece required for the offset. First, we're going to establish two vertical lines to take a center-to-center -center measurement from the first piece of pipe with its fitting to the location of the next fitting. So we take that measurement and we find that the center-to-center -center measurement would be 575 millimeters required. Now let's take a look at the dimensions of a screwed fitting. The dimensions for screwed fittings are found in pipe trades training manuals or in manufacturer's literature. The typical dimensions given are face to center, also known as the throw, and the thread engagement. Now depending on the size of fitting, these dimensions will be different. Make sure you specify which fittings you are using and which dimensions should be used. So the face to center measurement minus the thread engagement results in the fitting allowance. So the fitting allowance is the dimension that must be taken off the center to center measurement from each fitting. So let's take a look at some actual measurements from an inch and a half malleable iron fitting. We're using metric dimensions so an inch and a half malleable iron fitting is often referred to as a 40 millimeter fitting. So the face to center of a 40 millimeter malleable iron fitting is 49.3 millimeters. The thread engagement is 17.8 millimeters. Again, these dimensions are well published and easily referable. What the pipe trades worker will be required to calculate is the fitting allowance when given the face to center and thread engagement for any specific fitting. Once you subtract the thread engagement from the face to center dimension, the result will be the fitting allowance. In this case, 31.5 millimeters. So let's take a look at the math on that. 49.3 millimeters, which was the face to center measurement, minus the 17.8 thread engagement dimension resulted in a 31.5 millimeter fitting allowance. Remember that an end to center measurement would require one fitting allowance calculation, while a center to center measurement will require two fitting allowance calculations. So in our case, we require 575 millimeters between the center of two inch and a half or 40 millimeter fittings. Taking a closer look, we need to calculate the end-to-end -end measurement, which at this point is unknown. Having just calculated for 31.5 millimeter fitting allowance on 40 mil 90s, that means we'll subtract two fitting allowances from the 575 center to center measurement. So 575 millimeters minus 63 millimeters remember we have a fitting allowance at each fitting, would result in a 512 millimeter end-to-end -end measurement. To put it another way, a 512 millimeter end-to-end -end piece of inch and a half pipe with two inch and a half 90s threaded on to either end would create a center to center run of 575 millimeters. So there we have it. Our installed offset 
It allows us to get back to our vertical center line over here. And we've cut a piece to bring it to 575 millimeters center to center. Well done.